Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Aviary Attorney. Where we're partway through one of the acts. I can't remember. One of them. Act three, maybe? Well, the third case, I think it is. Uh, yes, because the first one was Dame Kathleen. The second one was the one I got, got me really annoyed because of the way it was setting up. And this one is just an investigation. It's not really a trial or a case. So it's going to be interesting to see where we go. Um, well, let's just continue. I think now we need to head to Notre Dame, I think. So let's head there. I think that's where we need to go. Hello. Did you sneak out to the Louvre again? I keep telling you, my brother, you can't risk being seen. There is too much at stake. Mmm, right, we thought so. But the good word must be spread, my brother. We need as many supporters as possible. Yes, they have the same voice. Leave me alone. No more sulking in the shadows. No more cowering in the dark. We must rise up against our oppressors. Oh, but before I forget, here's your pen back. I borrowed it. Again? What happened to yours? I lost it. So careless. Don't sweat the petty things, brother. Let's focus on removing the obstacles that stand in the way of our father's dream. Right. Like the annoying little bird who's been poking his beak into our business. He is dangerously close to uncovering our secret. You want me to take care of him? It would be in our interests. I have a trap in mind, but... Ah! Someone's coming. Go hide. Ah, my brothers have returned. What can I do for you today? A confession, perhaps? Actually, Friar, we're here for information. We want to learn about the catacombs that lie under Paris. The catacombs? You don't want to get go there, my brother. It is a wretched and haunted place. I'm sure it is, but we know the church was responsible for having the entrances sealed shut. So we figured that maybe there's a super secret friar on the entrance that only knew, you know about. A secret entrance? What an interesting idea. You know, you're not the first birds to have asked about that. We aren't? Yes, yes. A cockerel paid me a visit earlier today. Perfect posture and snooty or, or one-eyed scowling. The first. A prosecutor, I think he said he was. Anyway, I'll tell you the same thing I told him. If you venture into the catacombs, you will not return. Understood? Um... Not really. Not, not really. You didn't tell us how to get into the catacombs at all. Nor will I tell you, my brother. Take the hint. You have no business there. Now, if you too will excuse me, I have a sermon to prepare. Be on your way. Damn. Another dead end. Maybe it's time to wrap this up. We can go tell the inspector what we found and call it a day. Don't quit just yet. I managed to take something from the friar's pocket when he gave us this little warning. Seriously? Again, this becomes something of a bad habit for you. Well, go on then. Let's see what you pilfered. This! You found this pen? In the friar's robes? Yep! Interest interesting. Actually, this is more than interesting. This is amazing. This is the exact same pen that Judge Romulus uses. It even contains the same green ink. Huh. Do you think it's exactly the same pen, or do you think Romulus and Remus just have a matching set? I honestly don't know. But I do know that this may come in handy. I'm going to keep a hold of it. Fountain pen has been added to your evidence folder. I'm not sure what this means. We're still at a dead end, though. My gut tells me that the friar is hiding something, but I can't get him to cough up. It's not like we can beat information out of him. Let's just go do other stuff, and maybe we'll stumble across some more clues. Maybe you're right. Let's go. Um, I only have one place I can go to now? I mean... That is an advancement. We have advanced the. We have advanced things. Um, I'm a little bit worried. I've missed something now. Oh well, off we go. Rue de Mamasit. Oh, we're about to be ambushed. There he is. That's the rooster who shot the croc, Monsieur. I think we're getting close to unraveling this whole rebellion nonsense. Let's not dawdle, Sparrison. We're nearly there. 
All right, let me just deal with this letter first. Spam? I don't think so. It's... It's from Cockerico. Severa? Well, go ahead, Sparrison. Let's hear it. JJ, if this letter reaches you uninterrupted, then it means that I've been captured or killed by the rebels. What? Last evening, the inspector gave me a tip-off of a midnight trade between the rebels and the croque-monsieur en rue des Marmassettes. I intend to watch from the shadows, but I know that such a mission is a dangerous one. Wish me luck. If this is the last correspondence you'll ever hear from me, then I suppose I should end on a positive note. Vulcan, you're a good friend and an excellent lawyer. I'm sorry for belittling you, belittling you all these years. Kind regards, Severin Cocorico. Hmm. Hmm. What am I meant to do with these pauses? Because you can't just pause, because that's just, that's just not me talking. That's me not talking. That way around. What have we got? Um, yeah, invoice. Yes, they go together. Oh, we, what? Oh, we didn't take that. Okay, finds and removes bullets, apparently. We have a book of judges. Okay. Is is this for real? There's no way this letter has to be some sort of setup. It's Severan's ha handwriting. Where do you think he is? I don't know. Why would he go alone? I don't know. But we have to go help him, right? I mean, if that trade was midnight last night and it's 10 o'clock now, he might still be okay. Maybe. I don't know. Come on, Vulcan. Pull yourself together. We've got to act fast while there's still time on the clock. You're right. Sparrowson, grab your coat. We're going to save Severin. Uh, really? Are you serious? Absolutely. I know we can do it. With all the investigating we've done over the last couple of weeks, I think we know the rebels better than they know themselves. We really don't. We really don't. We can find them. We can hunt with them. I doubt it. And we can bring Severin home alive. Wow, you're bursting with confidence. But where are we going? Was Severin's letter not clear? He was investigating the Rue des Marmacettes. So that is where we should start. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, I love Sparrison's voice. I like Mousy as well. Silly voices. Come on, Sparrison, keep up. No time for wheezing. If Cocorico was last seen around here, then there must be a clue nearby. Right. <sighs> Select an area to examine. Besson's stationery. Come along for all your writing needs, whether you need paper, ink, stamps. What are you doing? Stop procrastinating, Falcon. Cocorico's life is at stake. Oh, blood. There's a pool of blood here. It looks fresh. Cocorico's? I see Dragmots heading towards that tunnel, which leads straight towards the Seine. If I had to guess, someone was killed here last night, and the body was hastily disposed of in the river. But I see several sets of bloodied footprints too. Some are faint, but they head that way, towards the main road. So he could still be alive? Let's see where the footprints go. To the cathedral. Hmm. Things are wrapping up, it feels like. Here? The footsteps lead right into Notre Dame? It seems that way. Unbelievable! Where's a friar when you need one? Forget the friar. Let's keep following the blood trail and see where it ends up. Wait a minute, Falcon. Shouldn't we get the police involved before we go any further? Would be smart, but... Yeah, why not have them invested in the gate? Right, let's have a look. Where are you? Where are you? No, no, not there. Ah, there you are. Uh, grumpy war veteran turned police inspector. That doesn't help. I kind of want to know why he's brought us into the case again. Um. Her, because I can't remember why he why he called us in, particularly, rather than use people in the police. Because that might point to the fact that police can't be trusted. Um, that might be smart. Let's say it. That would be the smart thing to do. Why don't you run and find a policeman and I'll go ahead. Nice try, but I'm not abandoning you. We have no idea what or who could be ahead. Hmm. 
Hey, wait up! That way leads straight down to... The catacombs. Man, I'm famished. When is that mouthy parrot going to relieve me of duty so I can go grab a snack? Oh dear. The trail keeps going. Hey, isn't that the conciergerie jailkeeper Quack? It's Quack, you dummies. I had no idea you were a religious man, monsieur. I'm not. I had a career change. Private security pay is much better than regular old jailkeeping, you know. Monsieur, we don't have much time, so I'll keep it brief. We're following a trail that leads to the door behind you. We need you to let us pass. The door behind me? Ah, you idiots. That door leads straight to the catacombs. You don't want to go there. Catacombs? And besides, just because I know how to get in doesn't mean I'm just going to let you pass. I've got a job to do. I have integrity. I promise to act as guard, and that's what I'm doing. You want a bribe, don't you? Bingo. What you got? Here's my fist. I don't want to give him any of my pr any of these things. Um. Hmm. Got that well from the money. Here for your troubles. Ten francs. What? Are you trying to insult me? All right. Uh, here's ten more. All right. Another ten. Ooh, starting to warm up. What else you got? I don't have anything else. Fine. Here. Take it, you money grabber. Eh, good enough. So the door's right behind me. Go ahead. That's the door to the catacombs. It's that simple. Yeah, it's that simple. What, are you expecting a hidden bookcase or something? Go on, go look. Eh, what idiots. They're walking straight into a pitch black maze without even a torch. I wonder. Will they get lost in style? Will they find the crazy lion girl and get shot? Either way, ain't my problem. Upon entering the doorway, Falcon and Sparrison find themselves at the top of a stone staircase that spirals into the abyss below. Here. Here goes nothing. They begin the descent. Um. Um. Uh, I knew an underground passage would be dark, but this is ridiculous. I can't even see my hand in front of me face. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other, Sparrison. Uh. Uh. Ah, I think that was the last step. Now it's just twisted tunnels ahead of us. I should take up smoking. If I smoked, I'd have a match right now. I would be able to see where we're going. Plus, you know, all the health benefits. And I'd probably be calmer. Keep it together, Sparrison. I know. I'll unravel this loose thread from my jacket. We can just trace the string to find our way back if we reach a dead end. Ah, good thinking. Just like Theseus and the Minotaur. Wait! There aren't any minotaurs in here, are there? Head of a bull, body of a bull. Scary stuff. That That's not... Actually, never mind. Actually, it is. Minotaur comes from Minos Tauros, which is the bull of Minos. In Crete, they would... to as, as the kind of... I think the way they'd execute people is they'd put people in an arena with a bull. And the bull would normally gore them to death. And sometimes, they'd have, like... Um, I think they had, like... Um, acrobats who would do it as well, and they'd leap over the bull, or something like that. It feels like there's a gap in the wall here. I guess the path branches. I can feel a slight breeze coming from the passage to the left. The air seems a little more stagnant to the right. Um, if in doubt, Meriadoc, always follow your nose. Breezy path. There's a chance the breeze could be caused by an opening. Let's head that way. The wall feels weird and bumpy. What kind of stone is this? I had to break it, you Sparrison, but that's not stone. What, 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 wait, so, so, so what is it? Well, when a crypt. Oh. Oh dear, I thought we'd be dealing with one or two coffins, not walls of skeletons. Keep it together, Sparrison. Severin's life is on the line. You're right, I have to stay focused. Oh, it looks like the path branches again. Are my eyes going funky from the darkness, or is there a glimmer of light coming from the right path? No, I see it too. There's definitely some light on that side. Follow the light. It's definitely getting lighter. I can see my hands again. But that might just mean we're getting closer to an exit, right? Maybe this has all been a wild goose chase. Hush. Listen. Voices? Voices. We're getting close. Wait, Falcon, aren't you scared? Terrified. There they are. 
I'll ask one more time, what is your name? Are you with the police? The Royal Guards? Speak, bird. I don't know what voice I gave her last time. Mum Beaumont, we're here all, we've been here all night and he simply ain't talking. He didn't react to coaxing, he didn't react to torture. Maybe it's time to, you know, administer some justice. Justice? <laughs> that word. Oh, the rooster finally crawled. No, finally crawled. You want to know who I am? Fine. My name is Severan Cocorico. I'm a public prosecutor for the Corps Diseases. I have no idea what voice he... I, I keep... His voice always changes. Never mind. For more. Well, Sevy, it's been a pleasure, but can't be having spies running around our base of operations. Now, can we? Uh, his voice is... So, without further ado, I hereby sentence you to... Wait a minute, Piero. This is no ordinary spy. Because he's a prosecutor. No, because he's the one who condemned my father ten years ago. Whoa! Are you sure? I had my suspicions when I saw his smug air of arrogance, his holier-than-thou glare. Now I know his name and occupation. There is no doubt. <sighs> Do you remember, Bird? Do you remember the trial of a homeless lion in the winter of 1835? What was your father's name? Jean. Jean Beaumont. What were his crimes? His only crimes trying to feed a starving child. He took a handful of vegetables from a grocer's stand, not out of greed, but out of a sheer desire to see me survive. But he was seen by a policeman. Another arrogant cockerel like yourself, actually. Ah, so that's Valerti, I assume. So my father was thrown in jail. He was dragged to court. I had the privilege of watching the proceedings from the stands. I remember your sharp words. This man is a thief. This man is a scoundrel. He deserves the harshest possible punishment for his crimes. He didn't care about the consequences. He didn't care about why my father did what he did. All you cared about was fulfilling your lust to see a criminal behind bars. My father received a sentence of five years. He died on his third. Oh. Do you remember him? Mademoiselle, in all my days as a prosecutor, I've seen over thousands of cases. I'm not going to remember a single bread thief. You rotten canard. We're all just insects to you, aren't we? Who cares if a child starves on the streets as long as you put enough criminals behind bars to meet your quota? Am I right? Your silence speaks volumes of your guilt. Severan Cocorico, you have been tried by the people of the Second Republic. We found you guilty in the counts of conspiracy, of the murder of the Croc Monsieur, and the murder of my father, Jean Beaumont. Oh, I have been found guilty. Mademoiselle, if you want to shoot me so you can fulfill your revenge fantasies, then by all means, shoot me. But don't pretend for a moment this mob resembles a court of justice in any form. Court of justice? Now there's a contradiction. Bird, you know nothing of justice. Frère Remu, read this man his last rites. With pleasure, madam. Falcon, we have to make a move. Say something. Objection. Speak up. All right, I'm going in. I'm coming too. No, I need you to get out of here. Go find the police. Royal Guard, anyone. I'll stall for time. Falcon. Okay, I'll, I'll go get help. Do you have any last words? Just pull the trigger and be done with it. Wait! 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 He's right. This is a terrible trial. There's no evidence, no defense, no examination of the facts. You've dragged a man off the streets and decided his fate purely based on your own prejudices and whims. Who the... <clears throat> does the bird brain think he is? I am this man's defense attorney. I am JJ Falcon. JJ, what are you doing? Defense attorney, you're a raven loon is what you are. Or a spy. I've seen this monsieur eavesdropping on our conversations before. He cannot be trusted.